So you have gotten backlash for satirical impressions of Kim Jong-il and Kim Jong-un. Brilliant in my book. Um, both on 30 Rock <laughs> and on the 2015 Golden Globe Awards. So after those performances, non-Asian critics and people on Twitter were calling your performance racist and minstrel. The same people who criticized you did not criticize the Golden Globes for not having a single Asian presenter that same year. Yeah, it's no. really crazy. I mean, it's really yeah. like, I think it's really weird, but it, it's kind of like, it's sort of white supremacy wants to police race in the same mm-hmm. way that they police all the other aspects of society. Mm-hmm. And again, it's like, we're just doing the same thing. It's so weird. It's so, that's why I think that a lot of this is lapsed. Now, like we're sort of seeing, everybody's kind of come to their senses like, wait, that's wrong. We can't mm-hmm. live this way. We can't deal with these things this way and you know there's no reason to react that way around that you know we have to have more inclusion on all aspects before we can actually call out like what is actually really racist racism exists in the invisibility in the void Mm -hmm. of our our space in the conversation I mean, it just blows my mind when a non-Asian calls you a racist. I know, it's so dumb. And, and it's <laughs> happened a lot through your career. It's like really yeah. funny. And, but how, how, how do you directly respond to these critics? Well, I don't really, because I don't think that it, it it's almost like it's beneath contempt. Like, it's kind of like, oh, well, it's, it doesn't even deserve the dignity of a response. It's sort of like so dumb. <laughs> and also, like, I, I really have such a aggravating troll problem like if I actually did sort of do that sort of troll fighting I would never ever stop so I kind of just sort of cancel it all out it doesn't make sense to me and I don't really pay attention to it but that's the best way to I think handle online uh presence is to not uh, give any credence to anything that you don't find valuable so that kind of stuff I don't find valuable I think uh, that was unintentional advice because it's great advice. Just just don't engage. Yeah, it's just better because it's like we always like take for granted the positive reinforcement that we get on social media and then something negative appears and we just really like takes the wind out of our sails and there's no reason. 